We are pleased to announce Android 2.3, the fastest version of Android yet. In Android 2.3, we focused on optimizing performance and tools for game development, supporting open media formats and tools for content creators, and bringing new and innovative forms of communication into our mobile platform. In Android 2.3, we're taking gaming to the next level. Game developers always want the best performance, so we've given them what they asked for in Android 2.3. First, we introduced a new concurrent garbage collector for the Dalvik VM. It minimizes application pauses, which leads to smoother animation and increased responsiveness. We also fine-tuned input handling for touch and key events. This lowered CPU usage and increased the dispatch speed to make it easier to bring high-performance games to Android, we've broadened the native APIs exposed by the platform. Developers have direct access to input and sensor events, audio, OpenGL ES, and assets. And there is a new native framework for lifecycle and window management. We also provided one of the first implementations of the Kronos Group OpenSL ES standard for native audio. For games that use motion processing, we've added support for a gyroscope and other new sensors. A great multimedia environment is key to developing exciting games and apps. With Android 2.3, we are giving developers more ways to use audio and video. For example, we're adding support for VP8 and WebM, which are new open video standards. We're also adding support for AAC and AMR wideband encoding, as well as new audio effects like reverb, headphone virtualization, and bass boost. Applications can use these effects globally or on a per-track basis to create a truly immersive audio experience. Here's a look at a graphic equalizer that uses the audio effects. We've extended the camera API so that applications can access any number of cameras available on the device, taking advantage of the unique characteristics of each one. Applications can still access the back-facing camera for images that need better resolution, while the front-facing camera is perfect for video chat. Android 2.3 includes a built-in SIP stack and an application API. On supported devices, developers can write applications that offer audio calling that is fully integrated inside the application itself. The API is easy to use and lets you set up audio calls with any other SIP client, even on another SIP-enabled device. In this release, one of the features that I'm really excited about is near-field communication. I've been working to bring this to the platform. Devices can scan a tag to quickly read URLs or any other data format that you desire. There are so many possibilities for what a developer can do with this technology. These are just a few highlights of what you'll find in Android 2.3. To learn more, visit developer.android.com.